New territory, a land of opportunity, that's what it's all about. Without creativity and innovation, there's no future for us. The things we sell have to be different, or cheaper. In a nutshell, if they're neither of those, then they're doomed to failure. And right in the corner, on the left somewhere, there's Europe. Like a small tube, that's the world of today. We have been talking about China, newly industrialized countries like Brazil and India, and all the other technological changes that are taking place in the world. But I think the single biggest thing that is transforming the world now is actually women. Why? Because women is 51% of the world population. China is big, but this is bigger. Creativity and innovation are more powerful than knowledge, Einstein said. And creativity and innovation are the primary drivers of every product. Okay, because it doesn't exist, we'll do it. You can never have too much innovation. The fact is, only the leader can afford to be relatively relaxed about creativity, and not for any length of time either, but as small players. We started out with 26 million. We absolutely had to have the greatest possible creativity, and the result is that this year we'll make over 300 million. An entrepreneur is a doer. An entrepreneur is a visionary, and if you do things and have visions, then you know that with a vision, with innovation, there's always a risk. But the entrepreneur has enough guts to accept this risk. My policy is absolutely clear. I just want to be the first, to be different, or to be unique, or preferably all three at the same time. Then it's a win-win situation. You can't behave like an imperialist and go abroad to sell your own culture there. It doesn't work. It might work with McDonald's or Coca-Cola, but it doesn't work with other products. The opposite, in fact. You've got to become familiar with the culture, the mentality, the needs, the problems and the service. Only then can you start exporting. Now it's time to find out who the winner is of the Step In category in the OSEC Export Awards 2011. The winner is... Baumotaki. We specialize in exhaust after-treatment. That means we build, develop and sell soot particle filters for commercial vehicles, off-road systems, generators and construction machinery. We've been seeking to capture the Chinese market for about a year now, and that's quite a challenge for a Swiss business with our cost structure and relatively small headcount. It's an exciting job. Ähm, durchaus eine Herausforderung ist, das ist eine spannende Aufgabe. Die Leute sehen uns jetzt mit anderen Augen. People see us in a different light now. Beforehand, they were never really sure if it was all in our heads or if we had a real success story to tell. But we've now got official recognition that we can show to other parties, banks for example. And that includes our own staff, who sometimes find it difficult to understand what the management is doing in Brazil at the moment. It's great to get an official award that says you're doing well, you're on the right track, and you should keep it up. OSEC has been an immense help to us just by being there. We can always ask them if we're unsure, even though we've already developed ideas ourselves, and have our own expertise, it's always easy to clear up any last remaining uncertainties by asking the experts at OSEC, and also by having OSEC point out any traps, pitfalls and problems. It's helped us a lot in the past, saved us a lot of time, and therefore a lot of money too. OSEC was actually very important in this context, 
Especially if you're a young business and have limited personnel resources, it's really important that you can get the support and also the network at local level. We were very early in going into Japan, Taiwan, Korea and the US in order to meet with the big firms of this world. Something that only really works if you've got a strong partner that sets up meetings and looks after things locally. OSEC is a competency center for internationally oriented businesses. Together with OSEC, we're able to refer our clients to specialist offices, the OSEC hubs. There they get effective advice on how best to expand their business operations abroad. The partnership with OSEC is a really important element for us. We worked together on a report, for example. We're seeking to exploit these competencies jointly with OSEC. For example, we organized trips with another to China and Vietnam planned for this fall. We're also pursuing very specific projects on a joint basis. Meeting points like these are very important for SMEs and may prevent someone from repeating a mistake that someone else has already made. Which would be a shame because there are plenty of opportunities to make mistakes. There's no need to keep making the same ones. Passion is just a type of love. Love is what really matters. And it's love that sparks creativity.